this is my uh, mega model 1552 um, it's currently got it in a few pieces the issue with this was on the uh, loop impedance test no trip loop impedance the display would come up with greater than 500 volts the unit would beep constantly and it had a fuse indicator at the top which is like a rectangular box with a line through it now the fuse is in the power supply which is there alongside the battery compartment that checked out okay so uh, got in touch with mega I said parts are no longer available for this it's uh, basically a dinosaur unit but lo and behold on ripping it apart sorry rephrase that on carefully taking it apart found a fuse an internal fuse located just there and this is the old one I've got me on and the replacement one I've just put in there now I'm hoping that this is the solution this plastic sheet was just glued glued to the outer case in there also to protect the components because this be the input my voltage side so in order to get the thing apart quite simple really there's the obvious screws on the back uh, plus one under the warranty badge and then you have to remove I use this uh, my heat gun to warm up the adhesive on this top label and there's two screws at each end to enable you to remove the top panel allowing the uh, two halves of the main body to separate so I'm hoping that this is a solution uh, don't cherish the thought of spending £800 on a new uh, multimeter I believe that taking it apart like this voids warranty well warranty is long gone on this it's uh, how long have I had this probably 10 years and um, it voids your calibration apparently but hey tough um, Mega haven't got the components for it or anything so it's worth a try I did check his fuse out uh, and it's open now uh, it's a uh, F, can't see there, it won't focus, but it's F1AH, which is a 1 amp fast blow fuse, 250 volt. So I'll connect this up and then uh, we'll see whether there are any sparks or, uh, no pun intended, sparks, or whether it works. So I'll just pause this while I plug it in. Okay, got it uh, temporarily pushed back together. You can see that it's not uh, it's not been bolted back yet, or the top's not been bolted down. So put the label on, fuse in, battery pack, power connected to mains, not on at the moment. So put it onto voltage. See what happens. And switch on the supply. Two, four, three. Now, interestingly, before we replace that fuse, it was showing a, a mains voltage of two, two, five. Uh, two, four, one, two, four, three is more normal for here, so that's kind of uh, a point. Turn the power off and setting around to no trip loop and this is the point where it went to fuse blown it's, ah. so also worth noting is that we only had 
a live neutral indicator previously uh, and it's working so a loop impedance of 1.08 ohms which is great uh, obviously the whole thing needs to be reassembled well reassembled a total of around eight screws I believe there was one here 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 and then the four to that side to that side underneath the top label these top buttons they just select the dials whatever you want to call them they just pull off so I need to make sure they go back in the correct position and then two screws to re-secure the battery box lid well that's that's a result that is a result so I'll just try that one more time turn it off so it begs a question why put a fuse at the side of the battery box there and then put another fast blow fuse said fuse on the inside where you've got to totally disassemble the unit to replace you know we're not talking like uh, a £5.99 or £10 multimeter here we're looking at you know in the region of £800 for these units and you should be able to access your fuses Yeah, that's great. You should not need to have to send a unit away for service to replace a blown fuse. That's nonsensical. That's rip off Britain. That's just not not logical at all in any way, shape, or form. So for whatever the fumblings were that caused the fuse to blow is another story but um, why? apart from total money grabbing you know um, lost for words lost for words anyhow uh, valid calibration or not it looks like we're back up and running which is all that matters so curious to see when it's next calibrated when they can see that it's been tampered with whether it passes or fails because this unit's passed consistently so that'll be interesting we'll see whether there's more industry stitch ups as a consequence of taking the thing apart but anyway there we go uh, we're, we're away enjoy